That powerful message now from three-time NBA champion Dwayne Wade. He has a new documentary coming out about his no, life on and off the court. It's called D. Wade, Life Unexpected. It offers a rare glimpse into his private life and the way he and his family, how they are supporting their daughter, Zaya, who recently came out as transgender. Dwayne is standing by. We're going to speak with him live in just a moment, but first take a look at their story. A lot of you guys see me as a superhero. NBA superstar Dwayne Wade is opening up like never before in the new ESPN documentary, D. Wade, Life Unexpected. The 38-year-old revealing details about not only his professional life, but his family as well, raising his five children, including 12-year-old daughter, Zaya, who recently came out as transgender. Launch to LeBron, they've done it again! Wade says he and his wife, actress Gabrielle Union, didn't have all the answers when Zaya first approached them and began educating themselves to support their daughter. When I was a kid, I never knew if I was around someone who was gay, transgender. I never knew it. So when Zion came out to us, I had to, to get educated on, on every scenario and every situation, and I'm still being educated. So if my child comes home and say, hey, dad, I feel that I am a she. My job is to help you become who you are. Zaya's brother, Zaire, sharing these photos of the two of them growing up, posting on Instagram, I have been blessed to have my best friend, Zaya, with me for 12 years. We did everything together, but the one thing we never did was leave each other behind. I don't care what they think, Z. You are my best friend, and I love you. Union sharing this intimate conversation between Zaya and her father. Even when people are being mean. Yeah, I think, I'm, I know it can get tough, definitely. Yeah, but I think you push through and you be the best you. Oh, it is wonderful to have Dwayne Wade here with us. Th first of all, thank you so much for, you're here to talk about the documentary and you, you got permission from Zaya for us to have this discussion yes, that you had, that you started with Ellen that just got so much reaction. How is she handling all of this attention and people that are talking and now know her story. Yeah, she's she's a kid that yeah. wants to focus on school, right? Today she has a, a mock trial at school that <laughs> she's stressing about, and she's like, Dad, I just want to, I want to, I, I, I came out to everyone because I wanted to be me. Mm. And I'm thankful that I'm able to be me, but I need to focus on my trial at school. You know, you guys handle <laughs> that, but like, she, she's focused and, but I think for her and myself and my wife and our family, we love the fact that she doesn't have to hide who she is. She seems wise beyond her 12 years because when you Tell hear you. more of that conversation in, in the golf cart, and you said that she helped you and the family have a better understanding and helped you with this. How, did, how was she able to do that? Well, she is our leader. And I, I think when her, the conversation we had, the one thing about it with, with parents is have conversations with your kids. Um, you know, Zaya early on knew two things. She knew straight and she knew gay. Mm -hmm. But Zaya started doing more research. She was the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay. Be and she, she went down the list and said, you know, this is how I identify myself. This is my gender identity, right? I identify myself as a young lady. Um, I think I'm a straight trans because I still like, I like boys. So it was just, it was a, a process for us to sit down with our daughter and find out who she is and what she likes and not put something on her because as, as parents, we put our hopes and we put our fears on our kids. Right. And with Zaya, we decided to, to listen to her and she's leading us along this, along this journey. You didn't have to put this in the documentary. Nope. Why did you, and what was that family discussion to reveal this this yeah. way? Well, I struggled on how much I wanted to talk about in the doc. Um, mm -hmm. I actually didn't talk about it a lot, but I knew if I put it in the doc at all, it would be a, a big conversation. And we struggled with that from, yes, we understand that our daughter's 12 years old. We struggled with what once what people would say about a 12-year-old making a decision about her life. But we also know our child. Right. And so we we sit back and we say, you know what, as parents, it's our job to sit back and, and figure out and find the most the, the information 
that you know we can. And we've sat down together as a family. We've reached out to as many people as we can. We've researched as many things as we can to try to to try to help not only our family but other people in this journey and along the way. Because one thing we do know as a family, you know, we've been through so many different things that mm -hmm. other people and other families go through and they say thank you guys for speaking out on it. Thank you guys for being the face and the voice of this because we can't. And that's what we're trying to do. We're tr we know it's other families out there that's dealing with their, their kid, finding themselves and learning who they are. And what is your advice to a parent who is struggling to accept their child for, for any reason? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and act like we have all the answers. Right. I'm not gonna sit here and act like um, before our child came home and set us down that we was not ignorant parents when it comes to the world. We're like, when I say we're learning from our 12 year old, we're literally learning from our child. So the biggest thing is, is have an open mind. Go out and research, ask your child, ask other people questions about this because this conversation is real. Our 12 year old deals with this. Mm. This is her life every day. This is no game to us. We're, we're about protecting her heart. We're about protecting her joy. Um, and to, to do that, we're, we have to support them. And how do you protect her? Because I think some parents are, they, they want to accept and they, they, they're understanding, but they're, as a parent, you want to protect your child. And you know yeah. as much support as you have received, there has been criticism as well. And for your, your daughter to even admit that. And your son, that, that beautiful posting mm -hmm. and saying, you know, referring to, to they. So how do you handle those people who are less than supportive? Well, our family, we, we love, right? We're, we're, we're imperfect but we love each other for who we are and whatever we're gonna become in life. I think we understand that we have to protect each other. Um, we, we get amazing support from people. We get a lot of hate from people. But along the way, we inside together as a Wade family, we have to be the ones that have each other's back. And for us, it was important that Zaya understood that her family has her back. And, and, it, and it's just from the world and what people will say and what people think. And, but she's, she's known that for nine years, since she was three years old. She's known since she's, she was three. She's known since she was three years old. Mm -hmm. And along this way, we've asked questions and we've learned. But she's Did known you know? three years old. Did you know early on? I knew early on that I had to check myself. That's what I knew. Okay. I knew early on that I had to ask myself questions, right? I'm, I've been a person in a locker room that has been a part of the conversation that has said the wrong, the wrong phrases and the wrong words myself. And as I got older and as I watched my, my daughter grow, I had to go and look at myself in the mirror and say, who are you? It, what, what are you gonna do if your child come home and say that I'm not, I'm not a boy, mm -hmm. that I'm a gay boy or that I'm a, I'm a trans um, girl? What are you gonna do? And mm -hmm. for me, that was, that was my moment of, that was a moment of real. You know, it's like, this is, this is not something that I grew up Knowing that I've played with a teammate or having a friend that came out to me as, as gay, as trans, as anything. My, my daughter was my first interaction um, when it comes to having to, to deal with um, you know, this conversation. And I, hopefully I'm dealing with it the right way. Some people think I'm not, but inside our home, we see the smile on our daughter's face. We see the confidence that she's able to walk around and be herself. And that's when you know you're doing right. That's right. I hope she does well. That mock trial you said she had? That mock trial right. today. She's sweating right now. <laughs> okay. It's real. I hope that she does well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you and bless you. And we're going to have you back in the next hour because your documentary is brilliant. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.